Unit 13 Methods in Biology is the last unit of CSIR Net Life Sciences syllabus and holds paramount importance within the CSIR Net Life Sciences exam as it carries a weightage of 14.29% in Part B and 12% in Part C. Therefore, it is must for every CSIR Net aspirant to prepare this unit for CSIR Net Life Sciences exam. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanushri and in this video, I am going to tell you about important topics and reference books that you can refer from this unit. Unit 13 deals with different techniques and their applications and comprises of 8 subunits covering various subtopics as you can see it on your screen. Every subunit is about different techniques, like subunit A is about recombination DNA technology, subunit B is about immunological technique, C is about spectroscopy techniques, D is about statistical methods, E is about radio labeling techniques, subunit F is about microscopic techniques, subunit G is about electrophysiological methods and subunit H is about methods in field biology. Direct experimental based questions or in combination with other units like unit 1, 2, 4, 8 and 12 are often expected from this unit which will test your true research abilities. Being very vast unit, CSIR net aspirants might face some serious preparation issues. But don't worry, I have categorized the topics from each subunits into three categories most important medium important and least important most important topics are highlighted in green and are those topics from where questions are most frequently asked medium important topics are highlighted with yellow color and these are those topics from where questions are expected sometimes Least important topics are highlighted in blue and are those topics from where questions are rarely asked. You can start your preparation by focusing on most important topics first and once done with them, you can study medium important and lastly least important topics. So let's start with subunit A of unit 13, which is molecular biology and recombinant DNA methods. You can see this particular subunit is very vast. It comprises of many subtopics. Now, among the given subtopics, the most important topic is molecular cloning because questions are frequently asked on this topic. You can expect statement-based, figure-based questions from this topic like questions on restriction digestion, question on vectors. Second most important topic from this particular subunit is molecular markers. Here also you can expect statement based or figure based questions. Questions are asked also in combination with other units as well because molecular marker topic is common with unit 8 and unit 12. So, combination-based questions are also expected from this particular topic. If we look at the medium-important topics, it comprises of electrophoresis, library, genomic and cDNA library, in vitro mutagenesis or gene knockout, and sequencing. And least important topics comprises of isolation and purification of biomolecules, microarray technique, isolation and separation, and analysis of carbohydrate and lipid molecules. So, from the topics which are highlighted in blue, questions are rarely asked. But as CSIR net exam, like the syllabus has not been changed from past many years, therefore, now we can see the trend where the questions are even expected from the topics which are least important. So make sure that when you start your preparation, you start with most important, moving to medium important and 
then you also prepare least important topics. For this particular subunit, you can refer these books, Gene Cloning and DNA Analysis by T.A. Brown, Principles of Gene Manipulation and Genomics by Primrose and Twaman. So basically, you can study cloning from T.A. Brown and also you can study about in vitro mutagenesis, gene knockout from this Principles of Gene Manipulation and Genomics book and for techniques like electrophoresis, and for uh, other techniques, you can refer Principles and Techniques of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology by Wilson and Walker. Now, let's have a look at subunit B, which is about histochemical and immunotechniques. In this particular subunit, you study about antibody generation, which you also study in Unit 4. So, hybridoma technology, like how you can generate monoclonal antibodies that you study over here which is also common with unit 4. Then several techniques like ELISA, RIA, radioimmunoassay, western blot, immunoprecipitation, flow cytometry and immunofluorescence microscopy are the most important techniques from this particular subunit. Most frequently questions are asked on flow cytometry or fluorescence activated cell sorting. So direct questions are expected or Questions are expected in combination with unit 2 that is cell division, unit 4 that is immunology. But sometimes questions can also be asked on western blotting, radioimmunoassay, enzyme linked immunosorbent assay, immunoprecipitation and immunofluorescence microscopy as well. Then detection of molecules in living cell is not very important topic. But yes, questions are sometimes expected from fish and gish as well. That is fluorescence in situ hybridization and genomic in situ hybridization. For this particular subunit, you can refer the book Cube Immunology. Questions are framed on the figures or any experimental study given in this book. So for immunotechniques, I'll suggest you all to refer Cube Immunology. Then coming to subunit C, subunit C is about spectroscopy techniques. From this particular subunit, statement based, figure based and even numerical based questions are expected. So statement or figure based questions on UV visible spectroscopy, circular dichroism or fluorescent spectroscopy, NMR, so these four are most important spectroscopy techniques. Even numerical question, numerical based question on Beer-Lambert's law is also asked sometimes. Then X-ray diffraction and NMR statement based questions are often asked. And also questions on the mass spectrometry, different types of mass spectrometry or mass spectrum is also most frequently asked. Questions are rarely asked on ESR, or surface plasma resonance methods and molecular analysis using light scattering. For this particular subunit, you can refer the book Principles and Techniques of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology by Wilson and Walker. Then subunit D is about statistical methods. Please note that statistics itself is a very broad subject. So you have to prepare this subunit according to exam point of view. Here in this particular subunit, you study about measures of central tendency and dispersal. So basically, you study here about mean, median, mode and even party questions can be asked on mean, median, mode. Then probability distribution is the most important topic from this particular subunit. So, statement based question or match the following type question can be asked on probability distribution. Then, sampling distribution is the topic of medium importance. However, parametric and non parametric test is another important topic from this particular subunit. So, you need to be familiar with. ANOVA test, you need to be familiar with students T test and more. 
then confidence interval errors level of significance is the topic of least importance and also regression and correlation t test analysis of variance chi square test is important or i should say medium is a topic of medium importance from this particular sub unit chi square test so basically from chi square test you can expect the statement based question and even numerical based question in combination with unit 8 so combination based questions are also expected and uh, usually uh, many most of the csnet aspirants they are scared of solving numerical questions especially which are based on statistics so if we, you are not uh, okay with uh, solving numerical questions from this particular sub unit you can skip that part but i will suggest on the basis of uh, past 3 to 4 previous year question papers the trend is that uh, the match the following type questions are often asked and that to in part c and such questions are very scoring so i'll suggest that if you are not comfortable with solving numerical questions from this particular sub unit you can skip that part but don't skip the entire unit sub unit d you can focus on the terms just go through the terms like what is anova what is binomial distribution what is poison what is normal distribution what are parametric and non parametric test and you can prepare the terms for the exam then uh, basic introduction to multivariate statistics is not very important from this particular sub unit now the reference books that you can refer for this particular sub unit is comprehensive statistical methods by arora and fundamentals of biostatistics by veer bala Rastogi. Now coming to radio labeling techniques. Radio labeling techniques is all about radio isotopes, different forms of radiation, half life, the instruments that are used to detect and measure radioactivity, and also the techniques based on use of radio isotopes. So from this particular sub unit, different types of radio isotopes is important. Like they can ask you in the exam. statement based question or even match the following type question they can ask you about different types of radio isotopes like uh, which of the radio isotope emit alpha radiation beta radiation so different forms of radiation they can ask you about then numerical questions are also expected usually on half life so numerical questions uh, you can also expect from this particular sub unit and uh, uh, like detection and measurement of radioactivity or incorporation of radio isotopes in biological tissues and cell molecular imaging of radioactive material safety guidelines is not so important from this particular sub unit and again for this particular sub unit you can refer the book principles and techniques of biochemistry and molecular biology by wilson and walker now let's have a look at sub unit f which is about microscopy so here in this particular sub unit light and electron microscopy is the most important topic please note if you are studying about light microscopy you cover different types of light microscopy that is bright field dark field fluorescence confocal phase contrast because question can be asked on any light microscope similarly if you are studying about the electron microscopy make sure that you study sem tem scanning tunneling microscopy atomic force microscopy and even sometimes questions are asked on basic microscopic terms like resolving powers numerical aperture resolution so here you need to be familiar with ernst abbe equation as well please note selective study you don't have to do when it comes to techniques like question can be framed on any spectroscopy technique similarly question can be asked on any microscopy technique so don't go for selective study from this particular sub unit sometimes questions are asked on the staining techniques or sample preparation techniques for electron microscope or freeze etching and fracture method for electron microscope image processing methods in microscopy is the topic of least importance for sub unit f you can refer the books prescott 
microbiology or you can refer microbiology and introduction by tortora and even you can refer principles and techniques of biochemistry and molecular biology by wilson and walker so statement based questions are most frequently asked from this particular subunit and especially questions are asked in part c even match the following type questions can also be asked where they can uh, mention the name of the microscopy and the applications like which microscopy is used to detect uh, colocalization or in which microscopy the fluorescent dyes are used or which microscopy is used to provide better contrast so part b questions also based on the principle or application of the technique of the microscopy technique and even part c questions which can be statement based about a particular microscopy or match the following type questions are also expected from this particular subunit coming to subunit g which is about electrophysiological methods here in this particular subunit you study about techniques like ecg eeg which are the most important topics from this particular subunit as questions are mostly framed on these two techniques and ecg specifically questions are framed in combination with the other unit that is unit 4 so in unit 4 you study about cardiovascular system so this topic is common with unit 13 and unit 4 so you need to emphasize on this topic for example point of view sometimes questions on eeg is also asked then uh, the topic of medium importance from this particular subunit is single neuron recording and patch clamp recording even question can be expected sometimes from positron emission tomography magnetic resonance imaging functional magnetic resonance imaging and cat the topic of least importance from this particular subunit is lesion and stimulation of brain pharmacological testing and the last subunit of this unit is methods in field biology so this subunit like rarely any question is asked from this particular subunit but if we look at the trend from past one or two years question one question comes from this particular subunit so question can be in part b or in part c and mostly it is the question based on remote sensing techniques like how remote sensing techniques can be used to study the vegetation so if you want to skip this particular subunit you can skip because the questions asked are quite unpredictable but if you want to prepare then you have to focus on sampling methods in the study of behavior habitat characterization that is ground and remote sensing methods sometimes questions on methods of estimating population density of animals and plants can be asked and ranging patterns through direct indirect and remote observation is the topic of least importance from this particular subunit now for subunit g and h usually the research papers or articles are recommended so during the regular classes i give the link for the research articles and general articles to prepare these two subunits so this is all about unit 13 important topics and reference books i'm sure now you get a direction of how you have to start your preparation for unit 13 thank you and take care